Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got three yellow pentagons as you can see in the, this figure. And here, this is what we are going to do. We are going to play with these two outside pentagons and their answer is going to be in the middle pentagon. Now the question is, what is going to be the answer for this unknown number? Can you figure it out this interesting puzzle on your own? You may pause the video and take your time. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. The very first thing we are going to do is we carefully find a certain pattern, apply and then justify. And now when we look at these left and right hand side pentagons, we can see a pattern. Let's try that one over here. If I square this one, five square is going to give us 25 and seven square is going to give us 49. And if we add these two numbers, that is going to give us 74. Let's write it down over here. Likewise, we are going to square this one and square, when we square this, one square is one and square of nine is 81. And if we add these one, that is going to give us 82 for this number. Likewise, when we square eight, that is going to give us 64. And then square of this six is going to be 36. And if we add 64 and 36, that is going to give us 100. Likewise, when we square these numbers, seven square is 49 and three square is nine. And if we add that thing up, that is going to give us 58. So likewise, we are going to square this. Two square is four and four square is 16. And if we add these one, that is going to give us 20. So far so good. And here is our next step. Once again, let's focus on these numbers five and seven. And this time we are going to find the mean or sometimes we call it average. When we add these two numbers divided by two, let's find the mean of these two numbers. Five plus seven divided by two is going to give us six. So I am going to subtract six from this 74 and that's what we are going to get 68 likewise we are going to find the mean of these numbers 1 and 9 1 plus 9 is 10 divided by 2 is 5 and if we subtract 5 from this 82 that is going to give us 77 so far so good and likewise over here six and this eight when we find the mean of this one that is going to be seven so let's go ahead and subtract seven from this 100 that is going to give us 93 and likewise when we do this one three and seven the mean of these two numbers is going to be 5. So we are going to subtract 5 from 58. We are going to get 53. So we are going to apply the exactly same pattern on this our unknown number. Once again, let's find the mean of 4 and 2. That is going to give us 3. So we are going to subtract 3 from 20. So that means our desired number is going to be 17. So thus our answer turns out to be 17. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.